Hello everyone, this is Ms. Fatma and this is a sneak peek into our lessons for this week. So let's begin. First of all, we'll be doing two lessons in grammar and our lesson is titled Meet the Comma. The reason I want to start with grammar, start with the comma is because I've noticed that students throughout the years have a problem in using the comma they either use it in the wrong place or don't use it at all and so on so knowing where to use the comma is essential in english because sometimes the incorrect use of it can change the whole meaning of the sentence uh, some words to put in mind when we're talking about the comma, of course, comma is a punctuation mark. Okay, and things that, words that will keep coming up would be like introductory phrases, uh, will be dependent, independent clauses, will be parenthetical, will be list, uh, conjunctions, positives, direct address, these are some words that will surface during our study of the comma. So we'll basically be looking at, first of all, we'll talk about how, why are commas important? Why are commas, why is punctuation in the first place important in English? You can look at a text in Arabic that goes on and on without a single punctuation mark. Yet in English, punctuation is uh, essential it's important and without punctuation marks we sometimes we don't know where this sentence stops and this sentence begins and especially the comma in specific uh, changing the place of the comma sometimes can change the whole meaning of the sentence so we talk about why are commas important then we'll go and talk about items in a series and this is when the word list comes into my mind and we talk about listing and we will go further uh, we won't only talk about list of words but we'll talk about listing phrases and listing clauses in a certain sentence uh, we'll also talk about in independent and dependent clauses and how the combination of these clauses can create compound, complex, and compound, complex sentences. And then uh, we'll talk about introductory elements. And these introductory elements will include exclamations, will include like if you, for example, start a sentence with a yes or a no or uh, a direct address all these things are called introductory elements uh, then we'll move on to interrupters and we'll focus on a positives a positives are phrases that add more meaning to add more add more description to the sentence we'll also talk about non-essential and essential clauses of phrases this is when essential or non-essential information should be in a sentence if it's essential it won't be set off with commas if it's non-essential it will be set with commas and so on then we'll go on to talk about the conventional uses of commas like for example let's say using commas in an address or using it in dates or using it in titles or abbreviations so this is all what we'll be covering you'll also be doing lots of exercises from gamma bytes that would reach up to 40 60 maybe then we'll go back to beowulf and this time we have the epic battle with grendel so we will look about this battle we'll read it uh, we'll understand it we'll do close reading We'll do analysis, we'll look at elements of an ep epic poetry, we'll look at elements of an epic hero, we'll look at the theme, uh, which is good versus evil, we'll look also at illusions, we'll look at more literary devices like Kennings, for example. Uh, 
so we will make sure that we fully understand and analyze the text. Last thing we'll do this week is you will work individually on the text analysis questions which are, are on your BC page and the craft and structure questions that will deal with epic narrative poetry. I hope this was useful and thank you for listening.